Whoa! Hey, in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing this product right here. This is Nano Skins Multi Dress as a tire shine. It claims to have long durability. It's also a fraction of the price, and it claims to have super high gloss shine. So in the video, I'm gonna be testing it out as a tire shine, seeing if you can put it in your mobile detailing arsenal. Stay tuned. All right, so let me break down the video. I'm gonna experiment on two tires. I'm gonna come back in three days, then a week, and then two weeks. We'll see how it looks after that. So two different tires. One tire is gonna be on my Ford Ranger. I don't really drive it too much. It's gonna be stationary. So we're gonna see how the product lasts. Uh, it gets the sun beamed on it, but it's not moving and I don't think there's any rain in the forecast. We're not sure yet. Um, then I'm gonna do it on another car that use that gets used every day. So we're gonna see how it holds up against everyday traffic, everyday, you know, just the elements of nature versus this one and if they do good at all. All right, so once again, we're using this Nano Skin product. This is selling for $22 on Amazon for one gallon. All right, so you go on Amazon, you start scrolling, you're scrolling through, and you see all the options you have for tire dressing, and you got a lot of them, right? And you see a trend of most of them being upwards of 45 to 50 to even $65 a gallon, and you stumble across this product here that I'm using, and you notice it's cheap. So here I'm noticing my plastic container is cracked. Grinding from the bottom just to make my way straight to the top. That's never gonna stop. People working harder than you to take your spot. Yeah. Putting my foot on the pedal. Main goal is to claim all these medals. That's never gonna stop. I'm always aiming to seize the moment. That's never gonna stop. That's never gonna stop. That's never gonna stop. Never stop Here we go. We got the product applied. It's looking good. It's got a nice shine to it. It's not the glossiest, but it's got a nice shine to it. Yeah, you can see the difference. That looks pretty good. It has a good smell to it. So let's go on and hop over to the next one. All right, guys, so here's the tire that's gonna be used every day to everyday conditions. So let me go ahead and apply this right here. All right, so I got some product right here. Once again, you hit with that smell. It smells really, really good. It smells like a conditioner. Know, like conditioner for your hair it smells really good this product is also good on leather vinyl plastics any hard surface you know inside the vehicle All right, so of course it's a smaller tire it applied a little bit easier already got full coverage on it so we're gonna go ahead and get the regular foam applicator add a nice even line to it Right. There you go. Yeah, like that. Just bring a nice, nice flush. Bada bing, bada boom. It's looking good. Nice gloss to it. Now this is still wet, so we gotta let it dry. I'm gonna let it dry real quick and I'll come back to you, see how it is. And then we'll continue on the three days and one week and two weeks if it lasts that long, okay? One hour after applying it, still glossy around the edges, but during the meteor part right here in the middle, it's definitely dried out quite a bit, but it doesn't pop out. It doesn't uh, have that super shiny look that sometimes makes the tire look retarded. Uh, this is a good, it looks good so far. Let's see how long it lasts. Wow, now look at this one. This one is still looking good one hour after applying it. Still really, really glossy. I low key cannot believe that it's looking this glossy for 20 bucks. Okay, okay, so here's the update. It is actually four days later I uh, kind of forgot to make the video yesterday. So this is a four day update. As you can see, yes, there's still a nice 
matte looking you know the tire doesn't really look glossy no more it kind of just looks well lubricated well conditioned you know what i'm saying especially around here on the sidewall i mean up on you know this part right here it's definitely gone all the way around the tire but towards the middle part closer to the rim it still has a sheen on it this is on the vehicle that has been used on everyday life now we move over here to this wheel right here on my pickup and this one still has a gloss you could definitely see that line right here it's still got a shine on it it's still looking good i like it but you know what this truck never moves so it's not even you know Alrighty, so today's the one week update. And I, okay, so I moved the, the truck. I did a little driving yesterday, but I didn't go far. I did like probably a quarter mile worth of driving, literally up the block and back. Uh, so you can see this is where I did not apply tire shine. But basically this truck has been sitting here this whole time. Uh, the tire shine is still looking good. It's still looking well conditioned. You can see the difference, big difference. But this is on a vehicle that's not moving. Now let's move over to this one. One week update on the moving vehicle. This vehicle has been moving every day, you know, a couple miles every day. Uh, I would say it held up pretty good. But as you can see, like towards the outside of the wheels and the outer walls and whatever you call this part, like out here, it's definitely dried up and dried up a lot. <sighs> the only place you really still see the conditioning is like, around the rim basically really only around the rim everywhere else is already kind of fading off um you can still see that it's conditioned but that's all it looks like it's conditioned it doesn't look like it's tire shine or anything it just looks like kind of brand new tires i guess you could say all right guys today marks two weeks two weeks since i applied this tire shine obviously that one is still gonna be on i can still see it from here let me zoom in on you yeah, I could still see it from here, but that tire is not even, you know, that tire is not moving. So let's, this is the real test right here. Uh, how well it would last up and it, it did not, it did not make it to two weeks. This looks uh, back to crusty level that it was before. Um, this tire shine, I don't think it's good for a tire shine. I think it's more of an interior dressing. This, this product does not last very long outside in the in you know everyday conditions it doesn't leave that sh that really sleek shine yeah it smells good but who cares about smell it's more about what you can get with the product and it didn't last long and it didn't bring that much of a shine i will say in the interior product this is a very good you know 22 bucks a gallon that's very good you know that'll you can stretch that out a long way doing interiors you know and, and conditioning leathers but for as for a tire shine no way jose this no this looks like any other tire on the car you know what i'm saying shoot this tire looks better so you got my final answer it's a no for me dog